Hey guys, it's Chris here at uh, Survival Dispatch, and uh, today is Throwback Thursday. So what we've got for you today is, is a video we did a long time ago. Some of you have probably seen it, some of you may have not seen it. But it's going to be Alan Kay going over the various methods of signaling. Everything from visual, audible, uh, panels, smoke, you name it. All about signaling in this quick little video by Alan. And uh, this can be a new little thing. You'll see some more of these. So this is Throwback Thursday. Alan Kay with Survival Dispatch here. One of the most important things in the field is the ability to signal. It's also one of the most overlooked. Uh, a lot of the classes I teach, a lot of the people that I interact with as I go through their bug out bags, their kits, I see a lack of signal capability in there. And I personally experienced the need to have signal whistles, smoke, those sorts of things. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at a few things you should always have in your kit and how to best utilize them. I usually dress in earth tone colors, so a brightly colored cloth, such as this signal panel, can help me summon assistance. In this case, I'm using a stripped palm frond as a flagpole. A signal mirror can be seen for quite a distance. Locate the reflected light on your hand or the ground, then walk it in towards your target. Again, Alan, again. Screaming can be exhausting. A signal whistle requires less energy. I always keep a can of smoke in my rug. You may not have time to build a signal fire, and brightly colored smoke really stands out to rescue personnel. Smoke will penetrate the canopy overhead. Other signal methods won't work in this situation. On open ground, movement may help when seconds count. You'll need protection for your hand. Smoke grenades are hot when activated. Here, I used a bandana. So as you can see, there are many options that you can utilize for signaling, rescue, and recovery. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll see you next time.